Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia, CEO and Chief Zookeeper of Alive Studios, and here's Faith. She's also part of our Zoo Crew team, and she's going to show you Math Alive. But before she gets started, let me tell you a little bit about it. Math Alive uses augmented reality, and it also uses interactive gaming, and it has 86 math concepts that you can teach your children, um, and they're going to love it. Again, we're using a lot of the animals to teach Math Alive. So Faith, go ahead and show them how to use Math Alive. Now I'm going to show you Math Alive. I'm going to show you a few of the activities that we have. And keep in mind there's 86 of them. So we're just going to scan through a few. Yeah. And it comes with this math deck. And I've pulled a few cards out. So what we're going to start with is first numbers. And I picked five just to be in the middle there. Notice here on this card there is a mountain background. So any animal that appears on this number five card will be an animal that is in the mountainous region. So I put it under five. the camera like this and everything I'm gonna show you here is 3D. So I'll click each of these buttons twice. This is the first one. Five. And I have five mm. of these moose. Mm. I can bring it up close like this and show these animals like mm. this just hanging up on the card. Just standing there. That can help, that's Michael Moose. And then one, two, three, Four, five. And we can see these like this. You can tilt them or I can keep them. And this is augmented reality. Five. And here's the five tally marks. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Go ahead. F I V E. Yep. Five. 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 It's a fun way to learn your numbers. And if you went back here, whoops, it would be a different animal. Yep. Brody bear. Kind of glitched there for a second because I hit it twice. Okay, so there's the bears. And both bears and moose live in that region. So now what I'm going to show you is an example of a game which is an augmented reality. So I'm going to go to comparing numbers and I'll go to this one. Count each set of objects. That's a alligator. Yeah. The box to make the number yeah. set. Yeah, we'll so we're going to turn off. Yeah, turn off the instructions. Yeah. Because we can do it. So if an if the student has um, an inability to eyeball, which is more, they can always touch it. One, two. And um, here, how many numbers? Three, there? four. Thank you. <laughs> so let's say this is less than, and we hit the check mark. Four is less than five. <laughs> He likes to eat. Delicious. Okay, let's say we did it wrong. Is that correct? Oops, that's correct. Oh. Uh -oh. Immediate feedback. Mm -hmm. We got to fix that. So then I'll put down the equal sign. Five is equal to five. Mm, Good job, Delicious. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Kids love that. So now I'm going to show you another one with cards, and these are three-dimensional shapes. So I have the cylinder, I have a rectangular prism, and I have a sphere. This is really Pull the fun. the 3D shape card under the camera. Uh -huh. You can tilt the card around to explore all sides. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to show the cylinder. cylinder. And notice that you hear it again. Cylinder, you see it written, and here it is. I can actually move it, too. Uh -huh. Good. And rectangular prism. Rectangular shows prism. different dimensions. And let's put the two together. And you can use a mouse. Cylinder, using, rectangular I have to have a, prism. Let's I have intersect a, those. I have a touch screen. And yeah, you can do it like this. Wow, that is so cool. I love it. And so then I can lift it up like mm -hmm. this and show it. A little bit of engineering, great uh -huh. for STEM. Yeah. And you can also, I've seen teachers go, okay, can you, um, or you can put them to the side. Yeah. Can you show me uh, which one is the cylinder? Yes, and which one's I can. a rectangular prism? So I'm going to run up to the board and do go. this. And again, I'll you can use, use a mouse. mouse if you don't have a touch screen or an mm -hmm. interactive whiteboard. So that's great. So what Faith just showed you was just three activities out of 86. So it's just kind of a sneak peek. A uh, great way to teach math co concepts with six different learning modalities. Again, that goes into the long-term retention, the more modalities that you use. And um, that's just a little bit about Math Alive. So how do you get started with Math Alive? So Math Alive has its own kit. 
You'll get the kit, you get the camera, you'll get all the cards uh, that you need for augmented reality. It comes with the software and the tracking mat. So that's what's in your kit. And then you'll just need a computer, either a Windows computer or a Mac computer. And the system specs and all the information and pricing that you need to know, if you just scroll down to the bottom on our website, you'll be able to uh, learn all that information. So thanks.